Hello people welcome to Gurukla I am Jai so today in this video we are going to talk about the brute force attack but this time we are going to use a tool called Hydra to perform the brute force attack on our DVW machine so without any further delay let's get into the topic if you have landed directly onto this particular video I would like to let you know that this is a lecture video series where we discuss a lot about web application penetration testing and the vulnerabilities present in web application from scratch. So I will leave the link for the complete playlist in the description box below and I would recommend you to check that out. This is the entire overview of today's video so we will be having a brief overview of what Hydra tool is and then we are going to install not actually installing it actually upgrading hydra in kali linux because hydra almost comes pre-installed with most of the kali linux distributions and by using hydra tool we can able to perform brute force on our dwa web application so it's good to know about what hydra is hydra is a powerful and versatile password cracking tool which is pre-installed in kali linux which is designed to perform rapid dictionary based brute force attack against various authentication services right now hydra supports enormous number of protocols which includes http ftp ssh and many more so making it an user friendly tool for both penetration testers attackers and any security professional so as to brute force the attack i will leave the descriptions for further reading about hydra tool in the description box below you can check that out in later on so here is our dwa web application up and running hydra actually comes pre-installed with most of the kali linux what you can do is you can just type hydra and then hyphen h which is an help section so that it displays various switches options that you can use please do ensure that you are using hydra version which is above 9.1 or greater uh, in case if you are having any lower version which is less than 9.1 and i recommend you to please upgrade it to the later versions because it was reported that the earlier version had some bugs in that for that you have to fix so just in case if you are running on an later version you can reinstall that you pretty much know the command so it is sudo apt install um, hydra so this command will actually reinstall the latest packages of the hydra and that will actually upgrade your hydra to the latest version so i have already done that in case if you do not have the latest version you can run this command and upgrade your hydra before we get processed so for hydra tool we need to have one request at least that is sent from the web application so in order to capture the request we are using zap so let me fire up the zap so that in the client i will just enable the zap proxy so that your zap can able to intercept the packets and now i will type username as admin and then i will type the use password as test123 and i will click on login and as usual it is pretty much known that it's a wrong password but we need only the captured http request so when i click on this particular request you can actually see what is the request that has been sent and we will be requiring some of these informations while we are running the hydra tool hydra is already installed we can directly just key in so it is like hydra uh, hyphen lowercase l which represents the login user name so here we are not going to give any file so here we are going to give the username itself so that um, i'll go by the username called admin so the login name is actually called admin and then it is hyphen capital p where i will be loading the location of the word list which we have used for brute forcing attack so the word list is actually present in uh, user share uh, word lists and then we will be using fast track so fast track dot txt so that is the word list which we are going to use and then we will have to pass on the options within the single quote you can just note down what is actually we are going to see so first is we should tell the hydra whether what type of http has to be used and in our case we can clearly see that it is using a get request since the application is using get we can type in http hyphen get 
hyphen form because all these details will be sent in form and then separated by colon so this is the area where we have specified which http method we will have to use and then the next is we will have to tell them what is the url from where we can get the login attempt so here we can actually copy this is the url not the complete I, we just need to copy only the url part from where the login page can be fetched in so i will just copy this and then i will paste it here so now we have said that from where the login page has to be fetched in and then we will have to pass on the another option that is the parameters which we have to brute force in so the parameters what we are going to brute force here is the username password and then the action login is equals to login so this is what we will have to pass on so i will just copy this here and then i will paste it to our hydra so there comes username admin and password which is login is equal to login so here we have to make certain modifications hydra will actually work on the variable called user and then the pass so in place of username we will have to pass in the username called user it has to be mentioned within this cap so that uh, the user variable will be replaced by whatever that you have mentioned over here and then it comes the password so instead of test one two three i will have to pass the variable called pass which has to be mentioned within that cap symbol so where it actually shows all these things and next thing what we have to mention here in this command is the login details because we have already logged into this particular web application and then we need a uh, session id and then some cookies which has to be um, mentioned in right place so that it brute forces in a correct way so i will just pass on in another command so to mention the cookie uh, the command is h equals and you can see the cookie that is mentioned over here and this is responsible for keeping you logged in to this particular session i will just copy this and then i can paste it over here so here cookies have been done and as per the syntax the cookies should be in terms of um, equal to so a slight modification what we can do here is we can just pass on an escape sequence so that the colon will be escaped so that the php uh, session and then the security cookies will be passed in and then the last option here is we are going to pass on another option which is the failure string which will help the hydra to identify unsuccessful attempts so which means for any response which does not have this failure message is considered to be the correct password so what do we get when we type in the wrong password we actually get this particular command so we are instructing hydra to check if we are getting this particular request if we are getting this particular string in the response it means that the login has been failed so we are just pasting that also well so that completes our complete statement so this is the complete um, hydra command which we will have to give so i will just brief you of uh, just brief you what i have given so here is the complete command what we have typed in so as you can see so hydra is the tool which we have using for our brute force attack this is one segment and then hyphen l represents the login name so the login name which can be the username and here we can give either the name of the user or you can give the file which contains the list of users and then here we are giving the password playlist this is the password sorry payload so which is actually present in this particular url so password payload is given and then within quotes we are just passing several arguments over here 
the first form represents so here is the first one we take the different color so here is the first one which we are passing it on so this is the first one which actually tells what type of http request is being sent so what type of http request is being sent in type in our case it is get request which we are sending and the second part this is the second part which actually represents the url for the login page so that we have to type in here and then next comes the third parameter which is from here to here which is the third one that says the parameters in the url so parameters in the url where you will be having username and then the password so we will have to use username the variable is user so this is where hydra will substitute the list of users that we have given and the variable for password is pass in uppercase and this is where the hydra will pass all the passwords which is present in this particular word list and then we will have to specify the next one so that is cookie so this is actually your fourth part of the command which is cookie settings so to mention that it is cookie you will have to use that uh, the parameter as h is equals to cookie so usually it should be x is equals to value so since we have uh, equal to here we are just giving an this this is an escape sequence so this escape sequence will just remove this colon here so, uh, so that this will not be considered as end of the command so php session id which is this value and then the security is low this cookie value will be assigned to the variable cookie and finally we are passing the last one so this is the fifth one which is actually representing the failure string this is represented by f is equals to so any string which you represent over here will be checked in each and every responses so that if this string is present that indicates that it is an failed login attempt so in other words any response which does not have this failure string represents that is an successful attempt so this is an entire description of this particular uh, command and now we will see how this particular command will work So now the Hydra has completed the brute force attack and then we can actually able to see that there is a response that we have received. So here is an highlighted response. You can actually see that the response what you have received. So we have sent HTTP get type of form from the host 127.0.0 and the login name is admin and the password is password. So only for this particular entry, we have not received that failure string what we have mentioned over here. So, and it has just identified that one valid password has been found. So, this is how the Hydra can be used for brute forcing a particular application. So, now you can try the same hydra command for the medium level security by changing the security level to medium and then you can perform the same command in the hydra you can just snap it onto the other side and we can just go to dvwa security and we can change this from low to medium then we can click on submit we can come to brute force you go to zap and i will clear out all the responses which I have submitted already and I will type a random username that means admin is the username which I wanted to brute force and the password is test123 I'll click on login so we very well know that it's a wrong password I'm all interested about the HTTP capture so I will just double click on this so when you look at this particular entry 
and we will just recollect the entry which you have seen and at this particular case we can clearly observe that the so http request what we are sending is again get so this is also again the same url what we have sent so this is again the same url what we have sent and from the same uh, details finally you can also see that the cookie details the session id is not actually changed from the previous entry this is the cookie details which has to be sent along with the hydra the cookie remains the same so as you can see that the cookie remains the value of cookie remains the same so there is no much changes required in the uh, command so instead of low we will have to give this medium so this is the only change which we have to make it so what we can do is we can just change it to medium so i can just change that low to medium so that is the only change which we have to perform and this time i will add okay so i will add on one more feature called hyphen v which will give our expressions in an verbose mode so i will hit enter so you can see that it is resolving for the verbose and then it is going to it is going to take some time because we already know that when you keep the dwa in medium security level then it takes additional two seconds delay for every wrong password submitted to the server so it's going to take some time so as to try 222 responses so this particular response is actually shown here your hydra has actually started the username is being sent and it is going to try 222 number of entries okay it's taking pretty much time let me just check if we are getting any faster responses if i remove that verbose one um, i don't think that it won't make any much difference because uh, the server is designed in such a way that for every unsuccessful attempt it is going to take two seconds of delay before it accepts the next uh, response so it is going to take um, pretty much amount of time because it has to pass all the 222 responses and then it should get the correct one but however we could able to see from the previous response of hydra uh, hydra can able to correctly guess the password over here so that is how the hydra will guess the password so when you look at here it has actually given the correct password that it is admin and then the password so considering the time of the video i will wind up this particular video here and if you are following along with this particular video you can give your time so that your hydra will uh, complete the attack in the medium security mode so that's all in this particular video in this session we have seen installing or upgrading the hydra in kali linux and then we have actually performed the brute force attack using hydra on dwa so coming up in the next video we will talk a lot about what actually command injection attacks are stay tuned i'm going to see you in the next video until then it's bye from jai and happy learning